What up y'all, African Beauty here, and today I'm bringing you guys my winter curly hair routine of what I do during the winter time to keep my kinky curly hair as moisturized as possible. Especially because I tend to do a lot of protective styling during the winter time. So if you're interested in seeing how I do so, keep on watching. First things first, I make a small section in my hair in preparation for a hot oil treatment. I feel like these are really essential, especially during the winter months. And it helps kind of just give my hair an extra bit of life and boost and stuff like that. That while also protecting it so I kind of start at the roots and you see I'll kind of massage my fingers through there and then I'll also disperse it throughout the hair strands especially focusing on the ends just make sure I get that section really moisturized really oiled up for the record I'm using a mixture of virgin olive oil mixed with some Jamaican black castor oil and if you're wondering what are some actual benefits of hot oil treatments on natural hair it helps prevent dandruff and dryness it helps transform dry brittle hair to soft manner moisturized hair it helps reduce tangles and restore shine back into dull looking hair so once I've completed the hot oil treatment on all sections of my hair this is kind of what it's looking like you can kind of see it's coming back to life and the shine and luster it kind of gives my hair again now because my edges tend to be a very sensitive area on my head I like to give it a little bit more attention by applying the oil directly on my edges then I go ahead and massage my entire scalp for a couple of minutes, just get that blood flowing, you know. And for the last part of this hot oil treatment, I go ahead and gather my hair up and sprinkle the oil on the ends of my hair. Now that phase one is complete, I go on to phase two, which is co-washing my hair with some conditioner and water. I already have a video up of detangling dry matted natural hair in a breeze, so I'm going to go ahead and leave that video linked below in the description box if you haven't seen it already. It's the same exact steps and routines. Go ahead and make your section, use warm to hot water to drench the section before you apply the conditioner, then add warm to hot water again before you start detangling with a wide tooth comb. So if you haven't seen that video, definitely go check it out. It'll be extremely beneficial for you and go ahead and check out the comments below the video because it has definitely worked for other people. This is not clickbait, this is not just something that works for me, it works for everyone. So definitely use this method. It truly helps make thick, kinky, curly, texture is a lot more manageable and it helps to reduce the amount of time it takes to do your hair so once you're done with the first section continue the same thing on all the other sections of your hair now the phase two is complete it's on to phase three which is rinsing out that co-wash that you did a lot of people were kind of confused in the video and if I rinsed out the conditioner after applying it yes you definitely rinse it out now you're going to go in with your deep conditioner. I use Ozzy Moist 3 Minute Miracle Deep Conditioner. This stuff works like a charm. I swear by this stuff. This is definitely a staple product. And it's so easy to detangle in the shower and whatnot because you already detangled during your co-wash. So you're going to do this to every section of your hair. Rinse out the co-wash. Then apply your conditioner. And go ahead and deep condition your hair. And although I like to work in force, once both sides of half my hair are done, I like to kind of clasp my hands together and just apply additional deep conditioner to both sections before I clip that section away. Now after both sections have been deep conditioned, I go ahead and apply my plastic cap and leave that on while I shower. Once I'm done deep conditioning, I rinse it all out under kind of warm water. I don't really do the cold water thing like everybody says. It's too cold for that. But I go ahead and rinse out all the deep conditioner really thoroughly. And here I just wanted to give my OG suckies a quick length check of what my hair is starting to look like. I'm definitely getting a lot of growth now. And yeah, if you really want, you can be done with my curly hair routine and go ahead and style your hair as desired. Or you can continue watching to see how I style my hair after I'm done deep conditioning. Now at this point, there's two ways I can go about styling my hair right now. Bottom line is, I end up putting my hair in braided plaits. But by doing that, I can end up with a braid out the next day. Or a lot of you guys were asking how. I kind of got the blowout hairstyle without using any heat this is how you achieve that also so you basically just braid your hair up and then once it's completely air dried and stuff overnight when you take down the braid you can pick it out with a wide tooth comb or a pick and you'll get like this blowout look and that's kind of how I just go into my protective styles when I'm wearing a wig and stuff I'll just pick out that braid and then go ahead and like French braid corn roll whatever my hair for the wig so I don't really need to use heat anymore when it comes to getting a, like a nice little blowout look now granted I will say it's not gonna give you that like salon blowout look or anything like that so don't get your 
hopes up too high, but it will give you a nice little like stretched hair feel. So yeah. Last but not least, I do want to definitely say that this step that I'm showing right now of squeezing out the braid of any leftover products, unnecessary, you know, liquids and, and stuff in the hair, you want to definitely make sure that you squeeze that out so that your hair will dry faster and it'll be ready to go by the next morning. But yeah, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, bye.